demonstrating the HC2AW USB probe using a PC with Rotronics HW4 software. Let's talk proper sample preparation. Rotronics water activity instruments all have the choice of large and small sample cups. The large sample cups are perfect for measuring solid samples of product without the need for grinding while the small sample cups are well suited for the measurement of liquids and powders. In both cups, the test material should be filled to the line on the cup, but be careful not to overfill the sample cup. In all cases, the sample material should be at a stable temperature. For the AW Therm, this will be the test temperature, while for all the other instruments, the sample material should be at the same temperature as the instrument. Running a water activity test from your PC is quite simple. Once the Rotronic HW4 software is installed on your PC, simply launch the application. If you've set up users in HW4, you will be requested to sign in with your username and password. The first time you connect an HC2 AW USB probe to your computer, you will be requested to confirm the connection. In this case, HW4 already recognizes the probe. This is the main screen for HW4. The connected devices are shown in a pane on the left side of the software. Along the top are tabs which allow you to choose various available functions. For water activity, simply click on the Water Activity tab. From this tab, all the connected probes will be displayed. Simply check the probe you want to use for the AW test. All, some, or just one probe can be selected at the same time. For this video, AW Quick is selected. AWE is the full equilibrium mode, which will take between 30 and 60 minutes to return a reading. With AW Quick, the test will be done in 5 to 6 minutes. The dwell time is the period when the AW algorithm is not running. This allows the sensor to settle into the test. Our experience shows that 4 minutes is a good default setting. Once the sample is in the chamber, you can enter information related to the test sample, such as the batch number, the product name, or any other comments which would be helpful on the test report. So now I've entered the information, and all that needs to be done is to click the Start button and wait. The elapsed time will start, and an hourglass will appear next to the check mark. Trend indicators will appear in the H and T columns. Once the dwell time has passed, an hourglass will change to a gear icon. Once the test is finished, a green check mark will replace the gear icon glass and the test will stop. At this point, you can manually generate a report by a simple click. A PDF will be generated and it can be saved in a convenient location. There is also an option to automatically generate a report and save it to a specific location. And that's it. Very simple and streamlined. With the HC2 AW USB probes and HW4 software, you can connect many probes to your PC. The limit is controlled by 